And now, sports coverage you can count on with Way 31 sports anchor Max Cohan. Whether you're skiing Roll Tide or War Eagle, it's a great day to be at Legacy Arena where two of the three remaining one seeds are in action tonight. It'll be number one overall seed Alabama against Maryland, but as we speak, Auburn is trying to take down one of the nation's top squads in Houston. And while it has been an up and down season for this Tiger squad, they have the same path to the Sweet 16 as their in-state rivals. And to quote the great Al Davis, it's just win, baby. Of course, that's easier said than done against this number one Houston squad. You know, they got a lot of big guys at the four and five, at the three, and, and at the two. So, you know, they just the physicality of those guys. You know, uh, they want to try to make you uncomfortable on the defensive side, um, you know, make you take bad shots. But, you know, we just got to uh, execute our offense well and uh, get the shots that we want to take. Of course, there's still a little bit of time before the Tide take the court. Alabama had no problem with Texas A&M Corpus Christi earlier this week, but it was clear something was off with Brandon Miller, who was held scoreless for the first time this season. Miller told reporters Friday that he was feeling 100% and will be good to go against the Terps today. And that's great news because everyone knows how dangerous Miller is when he's on his game. But of course, the All-American isn't the only factor for the Tide, and two of Alabama's guards, Muscle Shoals native Mark Sears and former SEC Tournament Most Outstanding player Javon Quinterly, have their own reasons to be excited about tonight's contest. It's a blessing to be able to do that, you know, just uh, being an hour and a half away from my hometown. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah, I definitely want to finish the finish the job. You know, getting to the Sweet 16 two years ago was an unbelievable feeling. I really felt like we should have went all the way that year. So being back here, um, having another shot at it, it's been a great, great experience. And, um, you know, I wouldn't say it's why I came back because, you know, I kind of came back because my injury kind of forced me to come back because um, I was kind of set on going pro. But, you know, it's definitely a great feeling, you know, being able to be back in this position. So as we mentioned, Auburn in action right now. They currently trail Houston 15 to 10. Of course, Alabama coming up at about 840, so about two hours until tip in that one. And of course, we'll have another live report from here at 10 o'clock. Reporting live at Legacy, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.